Hi folks, today we are here at Saddle Lake Recreation Area and we just kind of wanted to walk through the campgrounds to give you a good idea of what the sites look like, the size of them, and if this is something that you'd be interested in coming to, to see if you have an RV, if it'll fit or not. So we're gonna take a walk down through here. Um, we'll start out at the entrance. This is a relatively small campground. There's, uh, I believe, 10 sites is all that is here. This is uh, our first time being here. And uh, it's a pretty nice campsite, or campgrounds, I mean. Here is number one. Um, it's pretty small, pretty much uh, maybe a small pop-up camper, but for the most part, it's a tent site. We come over here, uh, I don't see a stake on this one, but as you can see, it would be a, just kind of a parking area here. You go down steps and then there is where the thing, the fire ring and all that stuff is. That's pretty much a tent only. So we will keep on walking down through here. Um, this is part of the Hoosier National Forest. Um, it's pretty cheap to stay here. It's only $5 a night. Um, there's no electricity. Uh, we'll walk up here in a bit and you'll see the uh, stool that is available for uh, use. Uh, we're gonna come up here on site number three. Here again, if you had a small camper, you could fit, but mainly a uh, tent site. Uh, it is where the camper would park fairly unlevel. So that's to be something you'd have to deal with if you're camper. Um, we're gonna come up here a little further. Now, uh, let's see here, I'll show you camp four, site four. Here's where you pay. Once again, like I said, it's only $5, so it's pretty cheap camping. So here is campsite number four. Um, it is quite a bit longer here. You could get a, maybe like a 25 foot camper in, but here again, it's pretty unlevel. So you'd have to deal with that a lot. Um, towards the front of the entrance, it's fairly level, but as you go back, it gets fairly steep grade, but it'd be a great tent site. Um, this is us. We are in site number four. Our camper's a 29 footer, so you can see it fit in here very easy. You could get a, a longer camper. You could probably get maybe a 35 foot in this and uh, a fifth wheel would fit because there's good headroom and everything. So we do have one slide out on the other side of our camper that you can see here in a minute, but uh, this is probably one of the best sites as far as for campers. Um, and once again, I. It's site number five. So we're gonna keep on walking down through here. Uh, here is site number six, and there's the restrooms that you can use. It's just a pit toilet. Uh, we've only used it once and it was very clean. Site six, uh, we could have easily put our camper in this one. Um, it's got slight grade to it, you know, for a primitive campground. Um, but yeah, you could get a camper in here pretty easy, 29 footer or so like ours. Um, tent site, def definitely. Um, here's number seven. And uh, here again, we could have fit our camper in this site. Um, pretty level. Um, our, site, our camper would have fit pretty good. There's a little spot back there, you know, that's where your fire pit and all that stuff is. This is a nice site. So this would definitely be one of the RV sites if you, you know, I wouldn't get up much over 30 feet on this one. So we're gonna keep coming down through here. Um, we're passing the toilet, it's pretty nice. So we're gonna come down here. Um, site eight is a pretty nice tent site. Um, there's someone in there, so I'm not gonna show you or too much of it, but there it is. It's a pretty nice site, good tent site. Here again, it would be a good small camper site. Um, not a big camper site at all. Um, we're gonna come over here to site nine. 
site nine here. Uh, here at Wekuda, we almost took this site. Um, like I said, 29 footer, 30 footer, maybe a little longer would fit in this site very easy. Um, good headroom, so you could uh, definitely have a fifth wheel in here. And uh, so site number nine is a good one for campers. So we'll keep rolling on down through here. Um, we're gonna come up, oh, it looks like there might be more than 10 sites, but not too many. Um, this here is site number 10. Uh, this is another site we seriously considered taking with our camper. Um, it's not too bad of a site, a little bit of a grade to the uh, site for RVs, but yeah, you could get a good camp size camper in here. Fairly good headroom again. So that's site number 10. Um, over here is site 11 and 12, and they are walk-in sites. Kind of cool because they're back in the woods a little ways. Um, but yeah, that would be pretty neat if you had hammocks or, you know, a tent. You know, if you're backpacking in and out, that would be a cool one. Or two of them there, 11 and 12. Um, they're kind of off there by themselves. So it looks like there's actually 13 sites total in this campgrounds. This here is probably the biggest site down here in the bottom. So let me get out of the sun here. Um, it's the biggest site is 13. It's kind of got a grade issue for RVs, but uh, I mean, you could do it, but here's 13. Um, this is a little kind of weedy and brushy around it, but it's definitely the biggest site out of the group, but Anyway, this here is Saddle Ridge Campgrounds, uh, located in southern Indiana, down by Tell City. Um, we like it so far. Uh, we're down here doing some fall mushroom hunting. But, uh, yeah, check it out if you're down here. Thank you.